Hello and welcome to the second two minute mastering tip. Uh, people seem to like the first one yesterday, so I'm going to keep going for now. So yesterday, my suggestion was to keep a constant monitoring gain whenever you're mastering. Today, as promised, I'm going to explain to you why, uh, how to set that. Um, and the method that I'm going to suggest might surprise you. Um, I'm not going to give you any numbers. It's a very personal thing. Uh, this is a practical method that anybody can use. And I won't have time today to explain why this is the method I suggest. You'll have to come back tomorrow if you want to find that out. So the method that I would suggest for you to set your monitoring level when you're mastering is to use YouTube. Yep, really. Um, like I say, I'll explain why tomorrow. Here's the technique. Find uh, the Google Chrome browser and get YouTube up and running in it. You need to use Chrome uh, because that's where you get the most consistent levels and that's what we're interested in. Then pick some of your favorite songs, a range of songs, and play them and listen to them and set the monitoring level on your amp uh, to be comfortable. It wants to be good and loud, but uh, not so loud that it's going to give you uh, fatigue if you listen for a long period of time and not so quiet that you keep wanting to turn it up, obviously. You need to listen to a range of songs because YouTube's loudness management is not perfect. You don't want to use a song that's too quiet because you might set your monitoring gain too loud. Um, there might be a song that's not quite measured right. You, so you need to listen to a range of songs to make sure you've got something that works. Make sure as well that the output gain on the volume slider on YouTube in Chrome is at full and make sure that the output of your sound card or your however you're playing back the audio from your computer is set to zero. You don't want a, a boost or a cut in the gain there. That's basically it. Like I say, come back tomorrow and I'll explain why this is the method I suggest. Um, keep listening to the music from a variety of sources in YouTube to make sure that you don't get tired ears, they don't start to ring, or you don't feel like you're getting a headache or anything. Um, and that you don't keep wanting to turn it up because it's not loud enough. And like I say, tomorrow I'll explain the reasoning behind this uh, this method. I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. My name is Ian Shepherd. Please head over to productionadvice.co.uk to get more information on recording, mixing and mastering your music. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it so that other people can see it too. Thanks for listening.